Is that hair? Oh, oh my god. god! Okay, we're Together all going home now. Yeah. We're all going home. Welcome to Standoff, the show where we collect fans of a certain fandom and battle through rounds to find the ultimate stan. This episode, we're here to see, can we find the ultimate Swifty, who will be the last one standing? We're not going to eliminate anyone right now. This is just for you to get to know the Swifties. Hi, I am Pavi and I am 31 and I'm from Malaysia. When I was 16, I started off as a Taylor Swift hater. And now... And now Taylor is my everything. What converted you? I was a Jonas Brothers fan. Oh. <laughs> you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 16, I was dumb. I'm Adrian, I'm 24. I've been a fan of Taylor Swift since I was eight years old. I saw her for the first time, Wembley Night 3, which was like, what, a few weeks ago? It was a long time coming. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm 18 from Liverpool. I saw Taylor Swift three times in Anfield. It was like the highlight of your life. It was the first time I've ever saw her. And on night two, she matched outfit with me. She wore a purple Speak Now outfit when I had my Speak Now outfit on. That's so <laughs> I know, I was so happy I was like, you jump. <laughs> Hi, my name's Adam, I'm 21. Um, I'm from the UK, a fairly new Swifty, I'd say. The Lover era was kind of what introduced me. You and your friend like, traveled to see her, right? We traveled to Paris to go and see her um, for the first show. And then when we got there, we got a code to get night two tickets as well. Cost a lot of money, but it was worth it. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm from Canada and I'm 27. I've seen Taylor Swift four times at four different concerts. The Speak Now concert, the 1989 concert, Reputation and Eras Tour. Hello, my name is Fernanda. I am Brazilian, I'm 20 years old. I've never been to any Taylor Swift concerts. I have this lovely friendship bracelet that these people just kindly <laughs> gave it to me because I didn't have any to exchange, but I love it so much, guys, thank you. <laughs> and I have a tattoo from the song August. It says, to live for the hope of it all. It's one of my favorite songs. So yeah. If you're a Swifty, you'll definitely know the lyrics to her songs. However, will these Swifties know them without hearing the music? I got tired of waiting, wondering if you were ever coming around. My faith in you was fading when I... Oh! I got tired of waiting, <laughs> wondering if you were ever coming around. My faith in you was fading Ooh. when I... Met you on the, the outskirts of town. <laughs> <laughs> Love story. Love story. <laughs> right. A friend to all is a friend to none. Chase two, girl Chase two girls, lose the one. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. Right, you're permanent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not perfect. And the song is? Cardigan. Perfect. <laughs> Dreaming about the day when you wake up and find that you were, what you were looking Yes? Uh, has been here the whole time? Yeah, the song? So you, you belong, belong with me. me. <laughs> okay, that's kind of a classic. You'll see me in hindsight, tangled up. See me in hindsight, and I'm with you all night, burning it down. Every <laughs> 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 follow you around. Perfect, that was correct. Did you know that one? I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I... As soon as someone puts it up, I'm like, oh, well, I know that. <laughs> Second, third, and a hundredth chances balancing on. Oh. Is it breaking bridges? Close! Oh, oh, breaking. Break, breaking. Wait, can you say it again? Okay, <laughs> Second, third, a hundred chances. Balancing on, on breaking. breaking. <laughs> branches. <laughs> I knew it was like, I knew it began with a V. I knew it would be with a V. So, do you know the name of the song? I have no idea. But it's Exile Fleet oh. oh my god! Okay, we're all going home now. We're all going home. We hadn't seen each other in a month when you said... Let's go down. You needed space. What? <laughs> no idea. Yeah, that's right, that's it. No. <laughs> you needed space. What? I'm trying to get the tune in my head. When you said you needed, needed space. space. What? <laughs> Is it something from 1989? <laughs> it's red. Oh yeah, we are never ever getting back together. The chorus is... We are never ever ever... Getting back, back together. together. Yeah, his point. Yeah, I, I, I his point. Yeah. No, I did not get that. You ready to vote? I know it's a difficult thing to do. <laughs> oh no, would you add a I'm sorry! Well, after.
after my performance, I, I thought it was only right. It's okay, guys. Someone had to go. I, I wanted it to be me too. Let's bring you over to the voting off profile. The music house. Bye, guys. So come and sit over on this comfortable sofa we have for you. I feel like the mean, the mean kid I'm in one. school. Like, you know, you're picking on, like, one person. <laughs> this is where we'll up the difficulty and see how well Swifties know general trivia about Taylor Swift. Yeah, I feel like I know a lot, but, like, I'm just worried, like, really niche stuff's gonna come up that I'm just not gonna know. I could tell you what high school she went to, mainly because I looked it up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you should know this. Yes, we've all got it right. All the questions are going to be that level, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's her last name? Oh, ooh, I'm seeing very similar answers. Oh, correct. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh. So we're going a bit more leveling up now. I'm going to have to guess. Damn, mm. we've all got your Oh, answers. funny enough, the closest is Adam. What was it? Adam, she's 10. Oh, I was going to go oh, 10 as well. I wrote four. <laughs> Oh. oh. <laughs> I have no idea. Hold on, I used to know this. I also used to know this. Yeah. yeah. No. Emily is the closest. It's actually 97. What? What? Are you yeah. kidding? What? How does she have Who's money number though? One? That is the next question. <laughs> I love my great trust fund. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm definitely sure like trust fund is one of the things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is the end of the trivia round, so you know what that means. I've saved you a nice space over here, don't worry. <laughs> yes, we just have to do it. There is a draw between Adrian and Emily. Can we have them like say a 30 second speech on why they love that's Taylor Swift? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it. One. Okay, um, obviously I've been listening to Taylor Swift since I was really young. My whole life has been chapterized by her music, so with each album, with each era, like, it reminds me of like, a different point in my life. And I feel like I listen to her so much that like, it feels like she's like singing to me when I listen to her music. Like, it feels like she's like my, my mate, which I know sounds like mental, but like, yeah, when I listen to her, it's like, when I like, put her on music on, it's like, I'm spending time with my mate rather than listen to like, my favorite singer. Hey, Emily, are you ready? Yeah. I just love Taylor Swift because there's like an era for each album. Like, there's an era for each like mood. So like, you've got folklore, you've got midnight style, like, completely different. And I, I, don't know, I just, I just love. It. I'm quite a new Swifty, and I feel like I'm still getting to know her music a bit. But I feel like I can just like enjoy it, and I just don't like listen to anyone else anymore. It's just like Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, and. I, I like introduce people to her and my mum loves her as well, so it's like we share the same love. So <laughs> yeah. That's it, yeah. time's up. I think okay. that this made worse. Made, yeah. yeah, I'm so sorry that we did this. <laughs> oh, um, I, I hate this. Maybe we can write it down yeah, just like, um, and then we can discuss it. This one. Yeah. I think we're all on the same page. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't too sure, but I just feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was pretty valid. I had a bit of a stinker that round, so um, yeah, fair play. Swifties will now guess the Taylor Swift moment from a close-up image, and it even gets harder for the Swifties as two Swifties get voted off this round. We are going to be Detective Olivia Benson in this, <laughs> yeah. and we're going to figure out these pictures. Exactly, that's the aim of this game. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes, possibly, is it? Is yes. It? I'm seeing a lot of answers, correct answers, and you are right. It is the VMA National yeah. nice. Video Award. Oh. What? Oh! <laughs> Sorry. It looks like that meme of the man walking away like with his girlfriend, and he's like... <laughs> ah, yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's such a good point! Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Oh, I can see a few right answers. What was that? So, it's Taylor in a suitcase. Yeah. Allegedly. 
I have no idea it's a nose. It could literally be anything. I think it's a music video. Yeah. Yeah. The white. Oh, dang it! I said Tim McGraw! I thought you were going to the one with Ed Sheeran. Oh. Is that hair? Is that what? What is that? Hold on. Is it a naked yes. cat? Oh, that is very confident. I can't. I can tell what it is. This uh, this brings my second love into play. Oh, yeah, I've got two correct answers. <laughs> ah, you got the correct answer here. Well done. Did anyone watch cats? I've watched. Watch. Watch. This the head. Oh, sorry. I didn't know what this is. Okay. Oh, I. This I, was I, a viral moment. Just so you know again. Combining my third love. <laughs> oh, okay, I see one correct answer. Jade Jolie. Okay, oh. sorry, right yeah. So, John Travolta mistake drag queen Jade Jolie became a swift at the VMAs. Um, oh, I forgot the name of that place. Oh, is it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this yeah. is the right answer. Yes, is it? Is it? Okay. So, it is. Madame Tussauds, that's the name, right? Correct. It is in fact her Madame Tussauds wax work. So now, this is the ultimate, the hardest part. We're going to have to get with two people to have the final round. Uh, I think it's Emily and Fernanda. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's a game. The last two Swifties are standing. I can't really say too much here. You just have to watch and see what happens. Good luck. I hope you do well. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you do well okay. too. I think they deserve to be there. Yeah. yeah. We're actually not going to leave it to you. We're going to leave it to them to decide. Okay. Oh, oh great. Think. We have our latest final. That we bought the winner. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Beautiful. Yeah. The last one. So let, let them do a 30 second pitch to why they feel like they should win this lovely prize, and then you four will decide. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I said I'm traveling for the shows. Uh, but it's not just the London show, so I put my life, I'm actually a doctor. I put my professional life on hold for like three months to make this trip. So I've actually went to Taylor, see Taylor Swift in Melbourne, in Australia, in February. And then I went and saw her in Singapore, that's the closest country to my country, so that was amazing. And then the three month trip is right now to London, big, London and Scotland. Yeah. So Tail Swift runs my bank account in my life. <laughs> um, can I grab a prop? Ooh, Ooh okay. performance. Okay. Grab it now. This is my Taylor Swift Errors Tour outfit. I have, I hand stitched a lyric from every single song that she has ever released on this. It took me nine months, but it was, it was totally worth it. Um, I just love that Taylor Swift has like a song for every moment of your life. Like whether you're going through a heartbreak and you need to just like lie on the floor and listen to All Too Well, or you're like, getting ready to go out with your friends and you're listening to listening to 22 or Long Live or just you're having a great time dancing in your house to Death by a Thousand Cuts. Like there's a moment for everything. And I think that Taylor Swift connects to so many people and has so many eras. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think they both have good reasons. Yeah. They yeah. like, both have very, very valid reasons. Are you sure? Um, we didn't. No, you did so well. <laughs> you did so well too. <laughs> If it's a tie, you have to discuss it. Well, we'll have to break it if it's a tie. I hate that we're in here. We're I know. Doing this. I know. Like, Why I couldn't they send us into the hallway? Oh. <gasps> Yay! Oh, thank you guys so much. Yay! Oh, thank you so much. I'm really happy. Thank you guys so much for picking me. I, I, I'm just really glad that like we've all been able to bond over a love of Taylor Swift. Like, I've made so many friends just by being like. We love Taylor Swift, and even if we don't like the same songs or the same eras, there's such a way to like connect us with her. So, thank you so much for this. <laughs> I'm really happy. This was fun because I was kind of nervous, like you know, today. And I think Sarah definitely deserved the win. I feel mm -hmm. like you were amazing in all the rounds, so I would have voted for you too. So <laughs> you. you guys did a good job judging. If it helps, we did tie. Yeah. So, we did. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. They were struggling to decide, like genuinely, really, really struggling. You both deserve it. You could just cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. It's not quite over yet. For winning this episode, we have a little extra something for Sarah. Okay, it's been a while since we've obviously filmed this, right? Yeah. We've got some exciting news. Okay. As you've won the episode, thanks to Via Gogo, they actually want to gift you a voucher to go to one of Taylor's shows in London. 
Wait, what? Really? Yeah, 100%. Yes. No, you're kidding me. Oh my I'm god. Not joking. Uh, no, really? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. I'm serious. Stop <laughs> Yeah. We've got everything ready for you. We're just going to put you in touch with the team and we're going to send you to one of our shows so you get to pick which one. Oh my God, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm so excited. I was like, I'm not going this time. It's fine. And then, oh my God. I can't wait to see clips on your Instagram. Oh, there will be time. Don't you worry. Good.